my intros have been way too long, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. So to start off, I'm prepping my skin using the Embryolis Late Cream Concentrate, and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. Too much. <laughs> My skin is really, really dry at the moment, so I'm just applying a lot and really working it in so it settles into my skin by the time I put my foundation on and it will look nice and smooth. For brows, I'm using my NYX. Why is this bitch watching me? The neighbors across the road are full watching me from their balcony and it's fucking annoying. So I'm just using a small and good brush and I'm gonna line the bottom first and then I'll make my way to the top. Trying so hard to make my brows nice again because last week a subscriber, well an ex-subscriber, um, full went off at me saying she's unsubscribing because I don't do my brows nice anymore because I thought getting my eyebrows feathered meant I could be a bit lazier but obviously people don't like that so I'm just going to go back to putting effort into making my brows fully cute. I'm not sure if this is actually like drugstore, but it's definitely cheaper than all the other brow gels I own. This one's the brow gel from Pony Cosmetics. Um, I just need a little bit of brow gel, so I just picked up the cheapest one in my drawer. I need to carve out these brows ASAP because this one's looking all sorts of silly. So I'm going to use... I don't know what concealer. I think I'm going to use my Age Rewind in light to carve out my brows. I have light and medium, but I definitely prefer light to use as an eyeshadow base thing. And then I'll use medium sometimes for my concealer so it's not too bright. I was just being a dickhead and look how much concealer came out. That like never happens. OMG. That's just silly. I feel like I want to do something a bit yellow. So I've got one of these little ColourPop palette things. I think I'll start with this shade here called Running Late. And it's literally like yellow, like a mustardy yellow. So I'm gonna So I'm gonna use my Morphe M535. A little bit far away, Dal. Let's bring it in. So I've got that on my brush and I'm just gonna ooh, go in my crease. So my brush is loaded and I'm just going to start working that into my crease. I'm not sure how much darker this is going to be but I'm going to use this yellow shade here and this one is from the Nika K New York palette makeup set perfect 23 and this is like five bucks from beauty joint so i don't really use this other than when i do drugstore makeup i'm just being honest there's no reason why it's just that i've got so many palettes of course i'm not gonna always go for my little cheap one so you can understand so i'm using my kylie jenner brush and i'm just gonna go pretty much over that last shade okay that's exactly the color i wanted it to be thank god This Colourpop palette has this cute little ready orangey, it's more orangey shade and it is called Crisscross. So I think, I don't even know what I really want to do next, but I think I'll put that like through the crease again and then, I don't know, I'll figure it out later. And I'm just going to go over my crease with that yellowy colour just so it's still there because I don't want the red to like 
completely take over. I don't know if I want to do like an orange or a pink or a purple on this little lid space. I feel like it already kind of looks orange, so I might do pink or purple. I've got this palette from BH Cosmetics and it's called Take Me Back to Brazil and it's got these really cute bright colors. So I'm just thinking if I should make it pink or purple or I don't know. So I'm going to go for this hot pink right here. They don't have any names on them, but it's just like the brightest pink in the palette. Whoa. That is so big, my dad. This is like the craziest look I've ever done. I don't really feel like doing my winged liner on camera today, so I'm going to quickly do it off camera and I'll be right back. So my eyeliner is done and I also had about a 10 hour Snapchat break. And by the way guys, if you don't know, I do have other forms of social media. So I always list them down below, but I'll list my Snapchat name and my Instagram name here. If you want to follow me on my other forms of social media, because this isn't the only thing I do y'all. So I have a ton of Adele lashes and I don't know which ones I want to wear today. Now my favorite pair is Whispies. And there's also number 113 that I really like, but I don't think I have them here right now. They've got their new foam mink ones, which I've tried before. They're very natural. For most people, they won't be, but because I have such big eyes, I find these really natural. Wispies are my favorite pair that they do, so I might do Wispies and add some individuals, or I might just double because I'm lazy, so I might do Wispies on 120. I don't know, I'm going to play with them and see what I want to do today. First, I'm going to put the Ardell Foaming in 812, and then I'm going to put the Ardell 120s on top. These are by far my favorite drugstore eyelashes. They're extremely affordable, and they're very good quality as well. So I've got the first one down and this one's the foam ink one. Now this alone is just way too natural, but for most people this would be a really pretty lash. But for me, I just have to go that extra mile and double up. So I'm gonna put 120 on top of that. So I'm going over the top with 120 and I'm just creating like a custom intensity. So I already moisturized my face earlier, but I'm just going to add a little bit of the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer on top. So this one kind of feels like a moisturizer and like a silicone primer mixed in one. But I've learned recently that moisturizers are good, but they don't have that stick to make your makeup last. So I was honestly for the past probably six months just using moisturizers to prep my skin. But I found it would look beautiful and radiant for the first couple of hours and then towards the end of the day it obviously doesn't have that same coverage it had earlier so I still do my makeup nice and radiant but I just make sure that I'm using a sort of sticky primer foundation today I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in golden beige So it's been a hot minute since I creamed contoured, cream contoured, so I'm going to do that today and I'm using my BH Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette and this is my favourite, probably my favourite contour palette in general, but it is my favourite drugstore contour palette, it's just so creamy and it blends out so beautifully and I don't think you have to go spending $50 on a contour stick when you can get all the shades in a $10 palette, just saying. So I might as well use the Age Rewind for concealer since I squeezed the whole freaking thing out. So I'm just going to apply that under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and a little bit 
on my forehead. I seriously can't remember the last time I did this much product on my face. I literally just picked up my Too Faced Born This Way powder because I've been hooked on it lately but I can't use it today because it is not drugstore but I have my Cody Airspun here to use today to set my face so I'm just going to tap that into the lid I really don't like this powder because it smells like baby powder but other than that it's a good setting powder but, but the smell of it honestly turns me off so much and it's just kind of like a deal breaker for me but yet I'm still here using it <laughs> I feel like I haven't even like baked my face in so long. Like I'm always just setting my under eyes, still with translucent powder, but I don't bake anymore. I don't know why I don't. I just feel like it was a bit of a time waster, but considering I have so much product on my face, I really don't want it moving anywhere. So I thought I would just kick it old school and bake today. So I got this contour palette from BH Cosmetics quite a while ago in PR and it's just like a little basic contour and blush palette. So I'm going to use their banana powder just to dust away my translucent powder. So this banana powder is really, really nice. It's very finely milled, so you get a nice smooth coverage under your eyes. So I actually really like that, and I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Instead of matching my bottom shadow to my top shadow, I think I'm just going to keep my under eye really light. So I'm going to go back in with that first shade that I use for my under eye. My skin's just feeling really powdery at the moment, so I just want to quickly put some setting spray to melt it together. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm just going to put a little bit of this before I finish the rest of my makeup. So for mascara, I'm using the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara, and this mascara is awesome. It has a really nice fat brush, so you can coat your lashes nicely. I guess to powder contour, I'm going to be using the Nude Rose Contour Palette. So I'll probably go in with this shade here because it's slightly warmer. Uh, patchy. Okay, that is so fucking ashy. No, it's so ashy. Oh, now I have to do it on the other side. Okay, so this banana shade is bomb, but these contour shades, I'm not really feeling. But I'm just going to use it since I've already started, but I don't think I'll ever be using them again. Oh well. 
But a product that I do love from BH is their satin bronzer. It's like a more natural sheer bronzer. So maybe if I apply that on top, it's going to sheer that out a little bit. Nope. I'm literally trying so hard to blend this out. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going to like bake under here to try and hide some of that blotchiness. But, oh my god, I don't think I can save it. Okay, so that's been on for a minute, so I'm going to dust it off. Okay. Okay, that looks a teensy bit better. Okay, so hopefully I can cover some of that ashiness with a nice pinky blush. So I'm going to use Down Boy by The Balm, and it's a really, really pink blush, which I don't usually use, but since I've got, like, ash on my cheeks, I need something pink to kind of, like, cover it up. Because if I try and go over with a warmer bronzer now, it's just going to keep building up. So let's hope this saves the day. I think it did, guys. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I've never actually tried the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter things, and I've had them for so long, so I'm going to use one of them today, and I don't know what to expect, like I literally, I think I swatched them once, but I've never used them on my cheeks, so oh my god, they're soft. So anyway, I'm going to use that today. So I'm going to use Wisp on my cheeks. I'm going to start on the tip of my nose, because I feel like the nose tip is a lot more forgiving. Oh shit, okay, there is a lot of pigment there. Wow. I seriously underestimated this little guy so much. I can't believe I had this sitting in my drawer and I never ever used it. I am seriously obsessed. I think I found my new favorite highlight above. I'm shocked. As much as I want to do a nude lip, I know that a nude lip is not what this look needs. So I'm going to use this little guy here, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this one is called Morocco. So I just had a look through my drawer and I felt like this was going to be the lip that this look needed. I mean, I got out a nude and I held it to my lips and it just didn't really do anything at all for the eyes. So I am going to use this today and I'm going to use my lip liner from The Balm. Okay guys, so that is it for today's look. I hope you enjoyed this spring, summer, colourful drugstore makeup tutorial. I had so much fun filming this video and just playing with colours I wouldn't usually play with. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.